us, it seems quite simple. But more and more people discover things about water that are quite remarkable. One of them is Dr. Masaru Emoto, a water researcher from Japan. He wondered if water, just like snowflakes do, would make ice crystals. He began to freeze water for three hours by a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius and photographed them under a microscope. Beautiful structured ice crystals appeared, and they even appeared to be all different depending from which water they were taken. But the most revolutionary discovery was done as water was exposed to music. Water exposed to music showed beautiful crystals. But what does this prove? At least it confirms the statement of Einstein that everything is energy. And it seems that the French scientist Jacques Benaviste was right when he suggested that water has a memory. But does this discovery, due to the fact that we consist of 70% of water, has any significance for us in daily life? Does this mean that we create our own reality by the way we speak and think because it is all vibration? The question is that in fact you say mm. we are the creators of our own lives because we create our own life mm. by the way we think, yeah. by the way we speak, yes. because it is all a vibration mm -hmm. that has an effect on the reality that we create. What would you like to say to people who really are mad about this because they say, well, I look at my life and my life is really bad. And now you are saying that I all, I did it myself. What would you like to say to those people? They should study about what is resonance. Resonance. Tell me about that. Yes. Resonance. The increase in the amplitude when the driving force is close to the natural frequency of the oscillation is called resonance. Resonance is when the natural frequency of a system is equal to the frequency of an external force. This results in oscillating and an increase in amplitude. Resonance. Uh, if I have, uh, you know, um, this uh, here, uh, tuning hole. Yes. Yeah. Take two hollow box A and B. Open it one side. Place two boxes with their open sides facing each other with some distance apart. Mount two tuning forks of same natural frequencies, one each on the two boxes. Vibrate the tuning fork on the box A. The tuning fork on box B also begins to vibrate due to resonance. When A is vibrated, the air inside the box A vibrates, and these vibrations are transferred into the box B, and in turn vibrates the tuning fork. Uh, like uh, 400 Hertz whole whole tuning fork. Yes. And if I uh, generate the sound of la, yes. yeah, oh, yeah, I could give uh, energy uh, to the uh, that steel again, you know, yes. because it began to vibrate. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. It began to stop. Okay. So vibration is right, you know. And the giving a uh, life is giving love. I think so. So you can give uh, you know a love to ev anyone, everything of this planet because you can generate every sound, every note. If you are uh, not out of order, <laughs> it is here that uh, everybody uh, can meet and can encounter with uh, a nice person who has a, a resonance vibration with you.
Okay. Yeah, don't uh, give up. So, Dr. Emoto, he talks about that, in fact, everything is energy. So, everything in the universe has a vibration, mm. like words mm. and thoughts. Mm. So, what about, like, a package of cigarettes? We have these words. Like smoking kills. Uh. What would you like to say about that? <clears throat> This is so bad, you know? It's, uh, I think, a design for uh, killing people. Not from spirit, but while it serves As the energy of killing people, smoking is bad for our health, you know. But I don't think so. Uh, I, main, main cause, uh, from, uh, to be sick, uh, from, uh, stress, hmm. uh, negative mind of ourselves. So this, These words uh, make me sick. So, uh, it would be better actually that to put another word on the packages. Yes, like, yes, love yes. yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Be wise while drinking water. We, it would be better to drink water with words written on it every day, like love and gratitude. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I, I'm recommending that uh, to other people of the world. Yes. Yes. Because that is uh, not expensive. No. Mm, just writing. It's actually for free. <laughs> free. Yes. yes, yes. So water would be one of the most important things to focus on now? Of course. Yes, water is everything. Yeah. And I think this is a final chance of human being to be able to stay this planet. Hmm. So, uh, if this time we cannot uh, resonate uh, with water, our human being future uh, in this planet hmm, will dissolve. dissolve. Water has cellular memory, which is why on February 21st, 2017, I uploaded the video to show you that your intent and the power of water being programmed is very real and I'm going to show you the video now. So, so I have decided to program my water my heart and write my intent on it. It says I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I intend to love all and exclude none. And you program your water using the joy intent through your heart. Try it out. Good evening. Thank you for tuning in once again. You know, words have the power to uplift and it, have the, it has the power to tear down. With that being said, I have something placed on my heart that I hope will touch somebody and help someone. Words, they cut deep. They have the power to put people to sleep. In some cases, it gets people up on their feet. For others, they can defeat, leaving a person to feel weak. If what you have to say to me isn't uplifting, well, my dear, you might as well miss me. Miss me with your negativity. Words can rip through the body like a bullet. You think you aren't a murderer? You may want to look into it. The tongue can give lashes just like a whip. I'm sure there has been words spoken that could sink some of the greatest ships. So what I need from you is love. The kind of love that is sent from above. 
And while you're at it, add encouragement because his arms reaches quite further than your discouragement. And in, in closing, I'm not trying to preach to you. My intent is just to reach you. Just know that we all make mistakes. And by the way, I think you're great. That is, we carry those patterns with us. As we hold a feeling and an emotion, what we're doing is we are holding a vibratory pattern in the liquid crystal of our bodies. As the frequency begins, every once in a while, we'll reach a key threshold resonance, such as that moment right there. And in that key threshold resonance, the entire pattern morphed into a more complex expression of itself, simply because the frequency changed. Now watch what happens. The frequency is still increasing. And watch what happens. As we reach a, another key threshold resonance, this entire pattern will morph into a beautifully uh, and more complex pattern of itself. Again, and again, and look at this pattern right here. Look what you're seeing right here. Look at the beautiful geometry. Here is a perfect cube. There's a perfect tetrahedron, a star tetrahedron. In two dimensions, we've got the octahedron. Very powerful images of sacred geometry held in place simply because we've achieved the vibratory pattern that allows that in this water droplet. And as the vibration increases, these patterns will become more and more complex. You can see the pulse from where you are. Can you see the pulse actually in, uh, in the water? As we go into this, the last set of the frequencies, what you'll see is that the entire, and you'll watch along the outer perimeter, the entire pattern reaches its greatest level of complexity, and then it goes back. Uh, as the frequencies drop, it goes back to what it was, the concentric circles, as it was originally. It almost looks alive. You know, you've been offered many times the concept that thought is vibration. Have you ever considered that emotion is vibration? Feeling is vibration. We are something. We are always emoting something. We may not always be aware. Every one of water's properties is unique, and they do not easily fit into the generally accepted laws of physics. Science has not yet been able to answer the question of why water is the only substance on the planet that can exist in three states, liquid, solid, and gaseous. Why does water have the highest surface tension of all liquids? Why is it the most powerful solvent in Earth? And how, in defiance of the Earth's gravity, is water able to rise through the trunks of gigantic trees against tens of atmospheres of pressure? Water has memory. Experiments done in many countries around the world have shown that water receives and makes an imprint of any outside influence, remembering everything that occurs in the space that surrounds it. 